Tonight, a public safety hazard. That's why the city of Atlanta says they moved dozens of homeless people who were sleeping under the Bell Street Bridge. It's near Grady Hospital. CBS 46's Trayson Bragg broke this story, and right now he's live under that bridge where barricades are set up. Trayson? That's right, Mike. Bear, uh, rows and rows of barricades on both sides of the bridge here. I want to show you something else. We also have an Atlanta police officer here standing guard all of this in the name of making sure no homeless folks sleep here under this bridge tonight. The Arch of the Bell Street Bridge provided protection from the elements for many homeless people in Atlanta. At night is when they're usually most present. I think that's when they're getting ready to go to sleep and settle in for the night. Kristen Wilder says she walked past the homeless camp daily on her way to work. They've never, you know, done anything to me, said anything to me, so I never saw them as a problem. Well, the city of Atlanta disagreed. In fact, they say the homeless encampment just steps from Grady Hospital became a public health issue. Rat infestation, human feces and urine, all a part of the reason why Atlanta police moved in and cleared the camp yesterday morning. And they had this part of the road blocked off and they had two police cars and they were putting up the barriers and they were also bleaching the concrete and everything, I guess to sanitize it or clean it. Today I learned it was a multi-agency operation. It's the largest homeless encampment in the city. Brad Skewers tells me at any point in the day there were 40 to 80 homeless people living under the bridge. He's the executive director of In-Town Collaborative Ministries. His organization specializes in finding permanent housing for the chronically homeless, a term given to those who have... Had a total of a year of homelessness in the last three years and people who are also disabled. His organization is one of four who were brought in by the city to help find housing for those forced to leave the Bell Street Bridge. Six of those displaced were eligible for permanent housing. The rest were simply forced to leave. The answer is, you know, permanent housing that everyone can afford. You see that one? So guys, I have to say, since I've been out here, I've seen dozens of mice running around the street here. But the big question is, where are the folks who actually were forced to leave the bridge, the ones who were not allowed permanent housing? And the big question is, what's going to stop them from moving to another bridge in the city and creating another large homeless encampment? Mike? Yeah, Tracen, very sad that people have to sleep outside. Uh, was there any resistance? Like, did police arrest anybody while that bridge was being cleared yesterday? City officials tell me that there were no arrests made yesterday, but the big question again, another big question, what's going to happen when some of those folks possibly start making their way back to the bridge, maybe once the barricades are gone, how is the city going to handle that? So we'll have to stay tuned and make sure we follow this story. And it is good to see at least some people are getting help. You mentioned six people are getting some transitional housing there. Thank you, Trace and Bragg, live in Atlanta.